Hello guys, it's Technologic here. As you can see, we're going to be doing a comparison of Fraps and DX Tory. Just to start off, we're just going to clear it up that I personally, I prefer Fraps. So firstly, these are the first screens what appear when you open each of the programs. So as you can see, we've got a general page and then we've sort of got a general page on DX Tory. But this can, if you can see there, it says the target information. That's basically, if you're going to be recording a game, the game will come up there and if you've got multiple games open you get to select which one so next screen we're going to be moving on to is the FPS screen so as you can see the Tory looks a bit more advanced you've got a few more options here and there and they're more relevant to the ones which are over um, on Fraps so as you can see we've got our overlay corner on Fraps itself and we've got F11 for our benchmark in hotkey an F12 frat overlay hotkey. So yeah, that's basically all that we need to know for fraps. But over the XOR, as you can see, we've got video FPS, right fall FPS, we've got the recording status, and yeah, everything just seems to be a little bit more set out nicely, so the user can use easily understand. Next, we've got the movie section um, over in fraps, and as you can see, we get to change our um, folder destination. We've got other options like. Video capture hotkey, which is F9, and we've got our video capture settings, so which is uh, 60 frames per second at full size, and we've got record window 7 sound and record external input, which is our microphone, of course. But over in DX Tour, as you can see, we've got our write speed and where we can select multiple folders and multiple hard drives that we can save onto, and then we've got our write speed, which basically you just test how quickly your hard drive records. Next screen on the X-Tory, which is also relevant just to the one screen, and Fraps is our hotkeys, which are set to, as you can see, it's F12 to record, and F12 to stop recording as well. If we move one more across, we have got our movie settings, and this is basically where we can change all our settings, which is not available on Fraps itself, so we can change the frame rate, but that's obviously on Fraps, but we can change all the codecs and stuff on the to make the file size shrink and to also improve the video quality if you wanted to, which Fraps doesn't offer. Next screen we have our audio settings. Um, obviously you can see your audio settings over in Fraps, but everything's in a bit more detail on DX Tour itself, so you can change which device you're recording from. So as you can see, I've got my headset selected, but if I wanted to record the same coming out of my speakers, for example, I'll quickly just drop click on the drop down menu, change it there, and voila, it's done. And also, as you can see, you can change all the audio formats to make it a crisper sound, a better sound in the future. Say, for example, if I was recording my voice through this itself, I can select the highest quality, and the highest quality is one of the output as. So I'd say better. Basically, if it's there, um, you can also as I use push to hot talk hotkey, which perhaps doesn't offer. So basically, if I wanted to speak, press a button on my keyboard, it record my voice when I speak, and that basically enables you to cut out background noise. If you don't want it there, basically, you can edit it out fair enough in Audacity or anything, but that just saves a lot of time. So, for example, if you wanted to make a podcast, that would be perfect for it. Fraps, it'd be alright for it, but you know, you got a bit more customability within DX Tour itself. So, next, moving on, we've got our screenshot section, which they both have, as you can see. So, in Fraps, you can change your image format, so image. So you can change it to BMP, JPEG, or a PNG, or a TGA file, which I've actually heard of before. And but you also you can actually change it so it keeps on um, taking screenshots. So as you can see, repeat screen capture every 10 seconds. So I've pressed F10 and had that selected. It will keep taking screenshots every so often of the screen and stuff. So that could be actually quite good if you wanted to do speed arts, but you didn't want to take a lot of space just making a recording. So that would be perfect for that. Over in DX Tour, as you can see, we've got everything, high speed screenshots, auto repeat screenshots, final format, at JPEG quality, clipping, we've pretty much got everything just in one place which is easy to navigate through and it's got more options than it does in Fraps. So a lot of people might prefer DX Tour for their own reasons, but personally, like I've said before, I prefer Fraps, but there you go. That's cleared everything up. That's the difference between the two softwares. So basically, it's up to you now to decide which one you want to pay for and which one you want to go for. Because basically, they both cost money. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. Personally, I'll use Fraps. Uh, but Fraps 
you need a good process in order to play the games and record at the same time. The XORI, you don't need as good specs, but you need a good hard drive. So, yes, that's basically the comparison what we've done there. So, yeah, if you do want to see another comparison in the future, leave it in the comments. Just, just uh, comment the section of which ones you want me to um, compare. So, for example, if you want me to compare Fraps or Camtasia Studio, I can go ahead and do that. Say, so if I just wanted to do the XORI and Camtasia Studio, do that. Fraps versus Bandicam. You get the gist. Whatever you want, I'll do a video of. So, yeah, that's everything I've cleared up. So, yes, it's all down to you now which one you want to go for. So, yes, guys, cheers for watching the video, and I hope you've all enjoyed the video. So, yep, yeah, see you next time, guys, and cabbage.